Hey guys, it's Alyssa. So today I'm going to be showing y'all what I got in New York City and Boston. Uh, so I went to New York City like three days after I moved out of college, so that was pretty cool. And I was there for four days, and then I went to Boston um, about a week ago, and I was there for uh, three days, I guess, two days, kind of, yeah. And um, the Boston part was like part of a long... Um, like a week-long kind of trip. We went to Maine and then like back down to Massachusetts. Um, so there's a few things um, when I'm covering Boston that I'll like show a few like t-shirts that I got um, that are unrelated to Boston. But um, yeah, let's just get into it. So I'm gonna start with like, well I'll start with New York and I'm gonna start with non-clothing items. So um, first thing is just this bag it says New York, and it's from um, Kanokunya. I thought it was really cute, and I really like these like canvas tote bags. Like I showed, um, I think I showed the American Apparel one in my last video. So if you saw that, um, yeah. So I got another one of these, and I think that's all I got. Oh wait, actually no, I got um, this pen. That's like the taxi cab, and then. I think. Oh, and then I also got this little pen. So then next, I went to um, Muji, and I got um, first another pack of these pens because they're like my favorite thing to write with for school and um, like studying and stuff like that. So I just got another pack while I was there. This one's like. Um, Kind of like a navy color. I used to have this pen. I don't remember where I got it. Like, if it was in a store, I ordered it. But I lost it, and so I was like, I'll get another one. And then I just got two of um, these kind. This is what I do, like, all of my note-taking with. And normally I order the packs on Amazon, but I was like, I'll just get a single one while I'm here. And then I also got one in red. And then I got, um, I think this is supposed to be for, like, keeping paint in, um, like, you know, once you mix it and you don't want to have to remix it. But honestly, I'm probably going to use it for, like, a pillbox, but it's just this, like, little compartment, and I feel like it was, like, a dollar or less or something like that. The last, um, markers kind of thing, or pin, I don't know. It's these markers, <laughs> um, and it's just a pack. I think there's, there's 12 in here, um, and they have, like, two ends. So, like, there's one end that's kind of like a brush tip, and then the other end, I don't know how you, a nub. Okay, so everything else I got in New York was um, clothing, so I'm going to do Uniqlo first. So the first thing I got is um, this pair of pants, and it's like a gray, like, checkered plaid. Um, they're super comfortable and they're like anti-wrinkle, which is nice. And um, I talked about these more in my recent favorites videos. The other pair is this um, sort of like pinstripe looking one with um, like tan and blue. And they're super comfortable and the prices were like pretty good. I think they were like 40 each, which I mean, I guess it's kind of a lot, but for pants it's not bad. And then um, Next I got the shorts I'm wearing right now, and they're like these red, um, sort of, I don't know how, how you describe these, but I think they're like a linen, which the only bad thing is they wrinkle pretty easily, but um, overall, I really like them, and they're very comfy, and they're good for like, when you want to wear crop tops and you don't want like a ton of your stomach showing, you know? So, they're good for that. And then, so next I went to Brandy Melville. I got two tops. It was really crowded and I didn't want to wait in line to like try things on. So I was like, I'm just gonna get a couple things that I know will fit since I'm here. And um, so the first thing I got was this um, like polo kind of shirt and it's navy and red. And funny story, I wore this um, for the first time when I was home when I went back to visit my high school and I wore uniforms there and we wore like polo shirt, so I felt like kind of weird, I don't know, but I really like that shirt nonetheless. And then I got this sweatshirt because I wanted something that said New York on it, and so 
It's got the little decal and um, it's of course incredibly soft as are all Brandy sweatshirts. And then I'm gonna move now into the stuff I got at Brandy Melville but in Boston. The first top I got is this white and navy striped shirt, buttoned down. Um, it's pretty big, like, I know Brandy Melville stuff tends to run small because it's like, the one size fits all, but it doesn't really, you know? But this is actually like, really big, like it's oversized on me. And their tops generally fit me. It's the bottoms that I don't really stand a chance with, but <laughs> um, tops usually fit me, and this one was big on me, so. Next, I got um, this green sweater, which I may, try on it may be a picture because um the day that I wore it um we ended up going to like a flatbread place for dinner and so it ended up smelling like smoke when we left and um yeah so it could be in the wash still but um it's really cute it's green yellow and black and kind of a turtleneck and it was nice that I could actually wear that because it's really hot here but um yeah that was cool and then I got this also um polo kind of style shirt with the stripes across like the midsection and it's like it's cropped but not really like yeah it's not even really cropped it's just like sort of a cut off look and then it's long sleeves so unfortunately it's a little bit um like warm I guess for summer but also um like for some reason the Boston Brady Melville I mean I guess because Boston's just colder than around here but um they had a lot of like long sleeve stuff I feel like they didn't have their summer tops in which was a little disappointing because I have my eye on a few things but um I still like this shirt a lot and it's not like really thick so I feel like I'll be able to wear it you know but I did find one short sleeve shirt and it's this one that says San Francisco and I really do try whenever I get shirts um from Brady Melville that have like a location on it I try to only get ones for places I've been so it's not like you know, I do have some stuff that says LA and I've never been there, but um, I have been to San Francisco a couple times, so I didn't feel too bad getting this. And um, it's just a nice, like, distressed gray. And, you know, I love good graphic tee, so there's that. And then, so next we went to Uniqlo. All, so the Brandy Melville and Uniqlo are on Newberry Street. They're really close to each other. Um, and I got two things at the Uniqlo there. Um, and they actually match, which is cool. Oh, shoot. Okay, going back to New York, but still Uniqlo. I got these shoes. They're called room shoes, and I forgot to show these, but, um, they're very comfy, a uh, great price. I don't remember how much they were, but it was awesome to have, like, in our hotel room, because, you know, you don't want to go, like, barefoot, but sometimes you don't want to wear your tennis shoes, so that was nice to have in New York, but also I've been wearing them, like, a ton since I got them, so, yeah. Um, okay, but back to Boston. So, first I got this terry cloth t-shirt. It's kind of got like the baseball sleeve style. Still got the tags on it. Um, I, as I'm filming this, I got home like Friday night and Sunday, so haven't had a chance to wear it yet. But, um, yeah, it's blue and not orangey red. And then I got to go with it, um, these shorts that have like a stretchy waistband and um, it's got pockets, which is always good. But yeah, I thought this was a really cute like summer piece. So yeah, there's that. And then, so I got a couple pins. Um, this one is from Boston, from the Hard Rock. So then I also got this pin. I don't remember where this was from, but somewhere in Maine. And, Oh, the last thing I have from Boston is this little, um, painted cute. Let me take this off. So, um, it was from, it's up from the, um, Boston Museum of Art, I think. Or Museum of Art Boston, or Fine Art Museum, I don't know. Whatever the big art museum is in Boston. I don't know why I'm blanking on what it was called. But basically they had, like, an old, um, I guess it's a cigarette machi machine. And, um... They had, like, all these different artists had put little, um, painted, I guess they were all cubes, I'm assuming, like, they're little wood pieces, and, um, there's, like, this little description on the back, so you can, like, email the artist and be like, I got your piece, so I thought that was pretty cool, and it was only, 
maybe a couple dollars. I don't really remember, but um, yeah, I thought that was cool. And then, so since we're on like little knickknack things, I got um, this keychain in Bar Harbor, if you can read that. Um, so first t-shirt is from Portland and I think I've maybe mentioned this in a vlog that I do like Pure Bar. So there was the only Pure Bar in Maine across the street from our hotel. So we were like, it's destiny, we have to go. So we got up and went to an 8 a.m. class, which was kind of hard on vacation, but, and with the time difference, it was like going to a 7 a.m. class, but it's fine, we got through it, but I did get this shirt to commend that, so that was fun. And then, um, since we're talking Portland, I also got this t-shirt there, and it reminds me of um, the shirt I have. It. It's from Brandy Melville. Um, it's the one that's the place in New York. I don't know. But um, it reminds me of a shirt from Brandy Melville, nonetheless. And I thought it was cool. And yeah, and then from Bar Harbor. And also, I'm probably not going to try these on since they're just like tourist tees, but I don't know. I'm always a fan of graphics and whatnot, so I was like, I'll just show you anyway. Um, I like this one because it's really simple. It just says Bar Harbor, Maine. And yeah, the last t-shirt I got is this one, and I really like the design on it. Real cute. Um, yeah, so that's all I got. Um, again, I'm very thankful that I was able to like travel and accumulate all this stuff. That was fun. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned for more videos. Bye! Mm -hmm.